We are now live. We have no one watching. Yet. Okay, hi guys. Um, there are two people now watching. A um, little bit of a delay um, from what I see, so... Um, just wanted to first off say, uh, you know, tell you guys the reason why I'm, I'm doing this or why I decided to, uh, to do this and, um, to kind of let you guys know a little bit about what's been going on with me and, uh, career wise and, um, also, uh, uh with me personally. Um, so, uh, a couple things you guys can, can do is, is, um, ask, uh, some questions. Um, you can use the the chat that's here on the screen, and um, you know I'll I'll answer anything that uh, reasonably what you guys have to to ask, um, and uh, just kind of you know uh, yeah I want to give you guys a rough idea of basically what has been going on. Um, I don't know if a lot of you guys uh, I'm already getting questions. How do you log in to see it? Um, you go to, uh, it was either on Facebook or Twitter, there's a, a link um, on my page that you can actually go and, and, and check it out. Um, and just click that link and it'll take you right to the, uh, to the streaming site. Um, so I'm just telling someone how to do that. So give me one sec. Okay. Um, all right, so let's start at, uh, ah, he's connected, I guess, I don't know. Um, all right, so, uh, for those of you guys who have seen Truth, um, we're doing a lot of, of, uh, new stuff with, with the movie, um, doing a, uh, director's cut of it, and it's also being released in, um, a couple more countries. So that's uh, some pretty exciting news. Um, we will be coming out in Japan, I believe, in a few weeks. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and also uh, digitally in, in Germany. Um, so for you guys who are in Japan and Germany, um, you can uh, now be able to stream it on, uh, I believe, Amazon. Um, Amazon.jp, uh, I believe, and uh, Amazon.co.de, I believe, um, or just uh, Amazon.de. So, uh, yeah, so wanted to also let you know about that and, and some, some upcoming projects. So, um, you know, let's start with, uh, I guess, some, some questions um, to kind of make things a little easier for me because I'm a little... Uh, a little nervous here, so I'm just gonna type something here and see. Uh, can you all hear me? Oops. So somebody respond, please. <clears throat> now we have another. Ah, Tad. Hi, Tad. Yes, you can hear me. Um, so uh, yeah, let's let's kind of open this up and 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 get a dialogue going, um, and then I can kind of get into some other things that have been going on um, with with me recently. Um, so yeah, anybody have any questions? Oh, there I am. This thing is on a delay, so I'm watching it here live, and then I'm watching it a couple seconds over here. So I don't know what you guys are seeing or or whatnot. So, um, but anyway, so. Um, Again, thank you guys for, for checking this out. Um, for those of you who just started coming on, I'm watching some people come on right now. Um, doing uh, some stuff with... Uh, ah, so what is your next project, Tad asked. Um, the next project I'm, I'm working on is... Uh, most, of, most of the stuff that I do is somewhat autobiographical. There, there are some... Um, there's a lot of truth in, in uh, no pun intended, um, of what uh, what I work on. And this next film um, that I'm working on is called uh, As Sick As Your Secrets. And uh, it's basically um, 
about it's got some kind of uh, I love the horror genre so it's got a little bit of, of uh, horror kind of paranormal to it and um, it is it is it does have some some uh, gay characters in it and there's there's some things in it that uh, I am going through now in life that I'm, I'm bringing out in in my work um, because I have found that that by me doing that has opened up um, that that channel of communication with a lot of people and I, I, I mean I still get emails from from the first film that I did um, and you know I, I think that um, you know my the work that I do and the work that I create has a message and what I'm going through recently and a big part of this film is uh, gonna be about moving on um, after you lost uh, someone. Um, for me, um, as, as some of you guys may know, um, or have followed, you know, what's been going on in Facebook, uh, last year I lost, um, a, uh, my partner that I was with for, um, 17 years. We, we decided to go our separate ways and, um, and, uh, we actually were married and, uh, did get a divorce and uh, he ended up um, hanging himself. So uh, I, I'm having a hard time moving forward, and that's um, a lot of, of what I what I want to get out of this is how does one character or how does this particular character uh, move on and accept moving on um, through life with another person, um, and uh, you know. So there's a lot of very, very personal, intense things that, that are in there. Um, and of course, you know, using, using um, the films as, as a, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, where are you from, actually? Let's see. I like the icon, but uh, I, I can't pronounce the name. I can't see that. Grand Rapids. Oh, okay. Um, uh, well, thank you. Um, that's actually a good way for me to process all the the shit that um, you know that I've that I've gone through. Um, and uh, yeah, it's 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 uh, it's a pretty personal thing, and. Um, I don't know how it's going to actually play out. Um, I, I know how the film is going to play out, uh, but for me personally, I'm I'm still on that journey, um, so only time will only time will tell. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's kind of exciting, and it's also very therapeutic too for me. Um, so anybody, there's there's a bunch of people here now. So is any 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 questions? Help me out here, guys. Oh, and if you see um, some furry things in the background or, or walk in front of the computer, that's, uh, that's Tully and Billy. Um, they're my cats, and uh, I'm sure they'll be joining us uh, pretty soon. So, um, yeah. Have you considered doing a series? Um, I actually have. Um... If I did a series, it would probably be something more along the lines of, of uh, kind of like a horror paranormal type of thing. Um, that's that's uh, pretty much what I'm into. I, I actually went on this tour not that long ago, and uh, I was able to... It was at um, it was a place in Pennsylvania, uh, Pennhurst Asylum, and I got to meet um, Nick Groff, who's, who does that show on um, Discovery ID. Um, his last thing was, uh, I think it was the ghost of, of Shepherdstown. And, um, so I got to meet him and, and actually go on this, this hunt thing. And I've always had that kind of, um, passion. So it probably would be something along, along those lines. Chris, Chris, you are asking, you are taking on as many roles in this new project as you did for Truth, writing, directing, and starring in it. Um, 
You know, it's funny. I said to myself when I made Crutch, and that was in 2003, that, oh my God, I would never do this again. Um, and I ended up doing it again. Um, I will... I'm not sure how many hats I'll wear doing doing this next one. Um, but I do know that uh, I, I will be writing it and I will be directing it. Not, I'm not sure about the acting, though. Um, don't get me wrong, I love acting. But, um, you know, since, since it's such a very personal piece, I'm not sure exactly um, how it will be uh, effective if, if um, I'm doing all those things. So, um, yeah. Thanks, Chris. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So, um, anybody else? Who else is out there? Is Grand Rapids still with us? Let's see. Come down to Atlanta. We have lots of new studios after all. They make The Walking Dead here. Yes, that is true. Is that, is that where you are? Um, are you in Atlanta, Ted? I actually have um, a Facebook friend that's um, that moved to Atlanta from LA, and is 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 doing pretty. Oh, cool! Um, is doing pretty well um, out there. So, yeah, I don't know. I've 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 always wanted to actually go down there. I've never been to Atlanta, so I, you know I may check it out. Um, how do you keep yourself on track when writing? I find it distracting to move. To something else. Um, for me, it's it's discipline. Um, you just got to keep going and keep uh, keep at it. You know, there's 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 you know, even if you don't have something to write, always get in the the habit, or I at least always get in the habit of of working and writing. Um, sometimes it'll just be some dialogue back and forth, but it'll it'll definitely um, keep you motivated. And then you just find that it just keeps happening and happening and happening. Um, uh, let's see, we have, oh, my buddy in Germany. Hey, how are you? A while ago you told me about writing a book. How far have you come? I'm curious to read. Um, actually, the book is, is turning into this film that I was talking about, As Sick As Her Secrets. Um, it may be a book as well, um, but uh, I'm finding it... Um, you know, since I'm very visual, I'm finding it it it, it uh, to be more of a film than than an actual book. If I do do the book, it's actually going to be about um, a lot of you know too um, that I have been in in recovery, and um, you know, th this January, um, you know, God willing, I'll have 20 years of, of being clean and sober, and uh, I think that's what the book is really going to be based on is my journey from you know, uh, growing up in, in an upper middle class family, um, you know, not really having a want for anything and then just being introduced to alcohol and, and, and watching my mom rapidly decline from, from alcoholism. So um, that'll be what that's about. You have an open invitation, oh, to go to Atlanta. Um, you've got a huge guest room. Okay, cool. Well, very good. I will, I will definitely keep that in mind. Um, uh, I know a property that has an old corn grist mill. Oh, okay. Um, Stars Mill, very cool. If you got some pictures, definitely um, shoot them over to me. I'd love to. I'd love to see something like that because there's actually a point where, um, in in the film, they do go to an old abandoned place. So um, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah. So. Uh, anybody else, anybody here from overseas? Oh, wait, Dr. Zeus, has the legal issues with truth been resolved? Um, yes, they have. Um, financially for me, no. Um, the, the case did actually settle, and now I can actually talk about it. Um, I had to agree to pay into this settlement um, based on the accident that happened. Um, so just to give some of you guys a background who don't know, 
um, there was a, a producer that was working on the film and um, was injured uh, two days prior to us us actually um, moving into this this property that we actually shot Truth in, and um, he it was right after Superstorm Sandy, um, which was a huge hurricane here on the East Coast, and. Um, we got to the place. I wanted to check it out to see if there was any damage, if I needed to move the production back or anything like that. And um, we get there, and there was a tree that was leaning on the house. And when you walk through the front door, it goes directly through the house, and you see sliding glass doors in the back of the house, which leads to a deck, a top deck. So it's a two-story deck. And Joe... Um, took a step out on the deck and we looked around and saw, you know, some, some lawn furniture and stuff uh, strewn about. And he took one step on the staircase and the entire staircase collapsed. Um, so long story short, he, he ended up suing um, the company that owned the home and then they turned around uh, and sued me. So I actually, um, in order to settle and not go to trial, I had to agree to, to pay. Um, for something that I didn't do, uh, I had nothing to do with, and and the the fucked up thing, and uh, excuse my French, but the fucked up thing about it was the the woman, the realtor who actually um, rented the property to us, was dismissed from the case. So she's the one who actually, prior to the lease starting, handed over the keys to us. Um, knew we were going there, gave us the keys, so uh, you know. I mean, there was no, uh, you know, I mean, it was a, it was a pure accident, but you know, I basically got, got fucked in the end. Um, so, and not in a good way. So, uh, let's see here. What else do we have? Oh, you actually live on the property. Oh, cool. So then you can definitely send me pictures. That'd be awesome. That'll be awesome. Um, the other thing, too... Oh, you're laughing. What, what's so funny? Laugh out loud what? LOL what? Grand Rapids, Michigan. I see, I don't forget a thing. What's so funny? Hmm. Oh, in the end. Oh, I got fucked up in the... Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't get fucked up. Um, I got fucked uh, royally. Um, so yeah, I, I actually, um, to kind of close that chapter, I ended up, uh, having to pay, um, the, the producer, his attorney, which it, it, it went to him. It wasn't, it, not a large amount, but just the, the principal itself fucking pisses me off. And I have a huge legal bill, you know, I, I mean, it was going on for a year and a half. So I, I, I have, you know, a lot of legal debt. Um, that, uh, you know, I have to take care of, um, which is also why I'm, I'm getting the film out there in some more countries and whatnot to bring in some, some more money and, and, uh, you know, also get the investors paid back and whatnot. So it's, it's been a nightmare. Yeah, it is messed up. It's fucked up, I say. But, uh, yeah, so, um... The other thing, too, um, I don't know if you guys notice, is that, that one of... This eye, yeah, this eye. It's because it's all backwards on camera. Um, kind of droops a little bit when I talk, and that's from um, it's it's kind of late here. It's almost ten, and um, it's like fucking ninety degrees in in this room right now. Um, that is from another thing which I get a lot of emails about, which is another thing that I wanted to bring up, um, which will, which will probably which will be in the book uh, is. Um, in 2010, I was diagnosed with, um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Tad. Um, in 2010, I was diagnosed with, um, vestibular labyrinthitis. And what that is was, um, or what it is, uh, is a balance disorder. And, um, basically what happened, oh, hold on right here. Let's see. Oh, so we have India here. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm from India, and I truly love your work, and I really hope 
um, that all gets resolved soon. Um, being in recovery, do you find doing these very personal projects that help you in sobriety? Um, before I get to the vestibular labyrinthitis, I want to answer, uh, first of all, thank you so much, um, Dr. Zeus. Uh, and I hope I'm saying that right. Um, all the way from India, that's pretty cool. I don't know, I have no idea what time it is there, but I hope it's not as hot as it is there, as it is here. Um, I'm sweating my ass off right now. Um, Chris, uh, being in recovery, do you find doing these personal projects um, that help you in sobriety? Yes, I do. Um, there's a lot of, of uh, things that I find are very therapeutic um, when I write and when I do these things. And what I also get out of, out of it is um, the response I get from people. I mean, still to this day, um, I will get emails um, about Crutch, which was my first movie, and that came out in in theaters in 2004 and then came out on DVD in 2005. Um, you know, people say thank you. People say, oh my God, I went through that and I didn't, you know, uh, you're an inspiration or, or that that's helped me or, you know, uh, that encouragement keeps me going. Um, and uh, I, I really think that, yeah, it does help a lot. It also, you know, it's funny too, there was this fear that was put in me when I did that movie. I was, I was pretty early in sobriety when, when I did that uh, movie Crutch. And um, once it got out there and then it, it was released on DVD and it was like in every blockbuster across the country and, and Hollywood video and all these video stores and Tower, Tower Records and, and all this stuff. And... Um, uh, it was in the top 50 DVD rentals in the country, and, and I started getting all of this, um, you know, all these, these emails and all this attention, and, um, you know, it kind of put a scare in me that, you know, now all these people are, are, are looking at me, and I, I, I can't fuck up, you know, I can't, I can't go out and, you know, have people see me in public and, 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 and do that, so that's kind of kept me scared straight. I guess. Um, so yeah, I hope that, I hope that answers your question, Chris. Um, so, and I hope you don't mind that I'm smoking. Uh, what else? Um, actually, you know what? Let me, let me ask, uh, we have, the, I want to go back to the person that's in India. Um, how did you, did you see the film Truth? And um, what else have you seen um, of, of of the work that I've I've put out there? I'm just kind of curious. Like how how did you see it in India? Did you watch it on iTunes or Amazon or something like that? If you get a chance, just type that in so I could see. Um, so um, yeah, let's get back to the the illness thing. Um, in 2010, I got, uh, I had bronchitis, and, uh, oh, you're welcome, um, and I am saying it right, it's 7.22 a.m. right now, and 27 degrees Celsius, it's rainy and quite hot and humid, same here, um, how can we help otherwise, uh, help with what, um, help with what, so, all right, so let me get back to, to um, I had bronchitis, and uh, I woke, uh, the year prior to, to me getting sick, that was in, my life completely changed on January 18th of 2010. Um, the year prior, I, I would get these wicked dizzy spells, and I would actually, like, fall to the floor and collapse, um, and... It would only last like maybe five, ten minutes or so, but then I would feel completely whacked out for the rest of the day and the following day. It was almost like to, to kind of answer your, your, your question, Chris, um, or to add on to your question, Chris, it felt like I was kind of hung over. And um, basically, uh, thank you for being here. Oh, cool. Thank you. It's 
really early in the morning, um, Silky, and thank you for for um, getting up and, and watching. I really appreciate it. Help with the legal issues with the movie Truth. There's still the um, GoFundMe um, page that that's up. I'll I'll shoot a link in in this video um, or or put another link on social media. And um, you know, there, there's still thousands of dollars that I need to to pay. Um, so yeah, that'd be you know something that that uh, I can post up again. Um, and if you can help spread the word, that'd be awesome. Um, so okay, so getting back to to that that uh, vestibular labyrinthitis. Um, that's always a hard one to say. Um, so I'd get these wicked dizzy spells, and they started to become more and more intense and more and more frequent. Um, so I was uh, sleeping on the couch. I fell asleep watching TV on the couch, and I woke up at four in the morning. And the room was spinning, and I said, okay, here, I'm having one of these these attacks again. Um, it'll stop, it'll stop, it'll stop. And it didn't. Um, and I just was crawling uh, my way to to the bathroom, and just, I got so sick, I ended up in the hospital. Um, they did a whole bunch of tests and, and did brain scans and stuff like that. First, they told me that I had a, um, a tumor, a brain tumor. Um, an arachnoid cyst on the back of my head. Um, I went to go see neurologists after neurologist, and they couldn't figure out what was wrong. I constantly had this buzz in my in my head, and um, it was really I couldn't walk, I couldn't lift my head up, I couldn't drive, um, and I spent. Uh, once they figured out exactly what was wrong and, and gave me a diagnosis. Um, uh, I finally found a really good neurologist, um, in New Jersey that, uh, to, to put me in the hospital and did a whole bunch of tests. Um, and they found out exactly what the deal was and, and they called it vestibular labyrinthitis. And, uh, sometimes it, it goes away, um, for people and other times it's a permanent thing. And unfortunately with me, um, it ended up being, um, Permanent. So I spent a year and a half um, in uh, rehab. Um, three days a week, I would go and, and um, learning basic, simple things like I had a ball, like one of those hacky sack things, and I would bounce it up in the air and uh, catch it while staring at it, and just doing balancing stuff on like um, styrofoam, uh, like planks just to, and, and like eye chart things, just to go back and forth and train my eyes and train my, my um, brain into thinking that, you know, if you're here, um, this, is, this is actually what your balance is. But what happened to me was it went like this. And this was what, you know, one ear was functioning at 28% and the other ear was at like 90 something. So I was completely off balance and, um, I mean, it was, it was like being on, you know, if you spin around like in a circle and you stand there and you, you're, you know, you're steady, but you're still, things are still moving. And that's what it felt like, uh, for a long time. And I still actually, when, when it gets hot out like this or when it rains, I still feel it. Like right now I have like this kind of like this annoying buzz in my head. Um, I'm used to it now. It's been six years since I've, I've had it, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's not fun, man. It's not fun. Um, a friend gave me the DVD of Truth to Watch. This is uh, Dr. Zeus. He was living in Quebec at the time, but he now lives in the U.S. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I'm glad that you saw it. So, um, It's weird. I don't know what you guys are seeing right now because I'm looking at one thing and I'm, I'm telling the balance story, but yet I'm over here in real time. So, Am I in real time right now? Somebody just say yes really quickly so I know. Don't know yet. Anyway, um, I don't know. It's a weird delay, but um, I hope you guys are, 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 are hearing me and it's not choppy or whatever. Um, so, that's the deal with um, the, the sickness. And I actually thought when it happened to me that my career was over. And that's where the whole 
I didn't think I'd be able to to act again because I couldn't remember anything. I couldn't um, I couldn't really function. I mean, I, I, it took me like a year and a half to just get back to somewhat normalcy, um, and then uh, that's where I actually got the inspiration to to work on truth was when I was actually recovering. I also had surgery um, and sinuses and stuff that uh, left me laid up for a while and that's when I started to get the the idea for truth. Um, wow, this thing is moving fast. Now I have a huge story that needs to be told based on my life but I'll be 60 in a couple of weeks. Happy birthday, Tad. Um, how do I how do move the writing along without skipping the important parts? Um, what I do is I actually, um, and it's a really simple approach, is um, to use index cards and just write the ideas that you have on index cards and then, you know, whatever whatever it is, just write it down, write it down, write it down, write it down. And then, you know, what you can do is, is once you take a step back and, um, no, I am ahead. Thank you. Um, what you can do is kind of like put them in order and then you know, those ideas that you have, you'll see, once you look at it as a whole, you'll see where some holes are and you can fill in in that way. And just keep putting your ideas out there, putting your ideas out there. When you write scripts and when you write, when you have a lot to be told and you have 90, 90 minutes or so to do it, um, you need to, a lot of stuff is going to get put in the shitter basically. So, you know, um, just take every idea that you have and just write it out and write it out and write it out. Um, that's that's what I do, and that's what I've been doing with um, with as sick as your secrets. Um, there's also some pretty cool programs that actually walk you through the actual process um, of script writing, where you know at this page this should happen, um, and uh, you know at this page this should happen at this midpoint something has to happen on that page. Um, so it's a real good guideline. There's a book too called um, Save the Cat which I've read. Um, I actually read it while I was, while I was recovering and it, it was really helpful to me. Um, so yeah, I have asked him to get me the DVD crutch. Um, yeah, you can, you can actually, um, you could get the DVD. It's, it's pretty hard to find right now. Um, but I'm going to be putting it out in, in a bunch of different countries. Um, digitally as well. You could you could find it online um, on on Amazon um, and uh, there's uh, it's some, I just licensed it to uh, I think it's Deku D E K K O O dot com. Um, you can you can check it out on there as well. Um, so cool that idea. You love that idea. Thank you. Um, Grand Rapids. See, I'm with you. Um, yeah, so, um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of like the thing with my eye. And I noticed that in, in, um, like, uh, Truth, for example, there's a couple scenes where, I, I, I don't know, prob probably people don't, don't notice it, but I, I, I see it. And, um, it, it bothers me a lot that, uh, you know, it's something that I keep hidden very well, but, it's something that I deal with on a daily basis. Um, uh, yes, that's it. Um, D E K K O O has it online. So that's where you can watch uh, Crutch. Brooke Sullivan. Hi, Brooke. Um, if you were to make another film, what would the storyline be? Um, I started talking about that earlier. Um, uh, the movie, uh, Brooke, is um, called As Sick As Your Secrets, and uh, a lot of the work that I do is, is um, personal, um, so it's going to be based on uh, what's been going on with me in the last year and a half. I, I was in a relationship for 17 years um, with a, really a wonderful person, um, and unfortunately it just didn't work, and... Uh, we, we split up, and he took his life uh, a few months after we actually got divorced. So it's going to be about a character that is dealing with that. It's a family that's brought together based on um, the sister brings everyone together, and they go to this remote inn, and um, 
so the one character obviously who's in recovery has this issue about trying to move forward and not knowing how to move forward um, and there's all other kind of family dynamics so it's it's um, oh both films are on Deku right now that's cool I didn't know that uh, Truth was on there oh yeah yeah it is on there um, so yeah Brooke that's what it's about it's pretty pretty heavy um, Dr. Zeus I'm glad I watched it too I love movies that are real and speak to you it's a beautiful film Truth Sure, it's dark and everything, but the story is also beautiful and special. Thank you very much. Um, there is actually, I can see why it's a special film. Um, I actually, uh, I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. There's a lot of, um, I mean, I hate to use the word truth, but there is a lot of truth in it. Um, there's, there's a lot of issues in that film. There's mental illness, There's which I've dealt with in, in my life with, with my mom. Um, I've suffered on and off with with depression um, there's the alcoholism thing there's the the abandonment there's a lot of stuff in there um, that there's adoption um, a lot of those elements in some way have affected me personally so yeah there, there, there's a lot to it and if I if I can you know through my work if I can make one person feel better then I know that that my job is, is I've achieved what I wanted to do. Um, so, yeah, yeah, and I really appreciate that um, very much, that comment. It means a lot to me. These are the kind of things that, you know, and this is another reason why I wanted to do this. Th these are the kind of things that, um, that really uh, kind of help me get through the day sometimes when I'm feeling kind of down or or kind of feeling a little um, low or off um, that I, uh, you know, that it makes me feel better. Um, you know, because sometimes you can't help but but uh, go online and, and look at some of the nasty shit people write. And, um, you know, it, it's kind of hard not to take it personally. Um, I know it's just a bunch of, of, of crap, but, uh, you know, Sometimes when you're feeling a little down and low, it, 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 it kind of eats away at you a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's actually one of the things I, I have learned and I haven't mastered it yet, um, is, is, uh, is the fact that everything that you read online is, is not necessarily true. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Like, there's some pretty fucking hysterical things on uh, comments or reviews on... Uh, for truth on on Amazon, um, that you know. At first, when I read them, I was kind of a little like, Ooh. Uh, but um, you know, it was kind of. Um, I kind of look at it now, and it's like, all right, well, whatever. So, um, Grand Rapids, are you still with us? Awesome title, by the way. Oh, sick as our secrets. Is that is that what you're you're referring to? Um, if that's what you're referring to, there's there's kind of like a, a play on words, uh, so to speak. Um, that's something that uh, you know they say in in, in recovery a lot. Um, okay, yeah, that's I thought you were talking about that. Um, as sick as our secrets, it's something that that they talk about in recovery. Um, you know, if you're not rigorously honest with what you're doing or what you are about. Um, and you keep those secrets um, hidden inside, then you know you're only sick as as you let people. Uh, you know, if people if they don't know you inside, you know, and you're holding all those things inside, you know, you're as sick as those secrets. If you don't get them out and tell them, then I mean that's that's the the truth. Um, again, truth, no pun intended. Uh, Tad, I was wondering if you did auditions for auditions, or did you have Sean Paul in mind when you were writing the script? Um, the answer to that question is absolutely. Um, when I was home recovering from the surgery um, that I had, I was uh, writing this film with him in mind. I remember specifically one night... I was on my iPad, and I was reading the story about um, him uh, and 
his time when 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 he was in Pennsylvania with uh, staying with Brian um, and uh, there was the. An, I don't know if it was him talking in an article or it was just an article that I was reading. And, um, you know, it's hard for me to remember, too. I have a problem with that because he and I talked at length about it personally about a lot of that stuff that went on. And, and um, yeah, so that, that kind of, you know, made me think, all right, he is the person for this. Um, and I did write it with him in mind. Um, and it actually helped me out a lot. So, yeah. To answer to answer your question, Tad, yeah, I did write it with with Sean in mind, um, and it was hard to convince at first to to do the movie, but um, I'm I'm really glad that he did, and uh, one of the big fears that we both had was that um, you know he obviously people know him um, under a different name that that, that uh, from his adult work and. Uh, that's one of the things I didn't want for this movie, for him, and also, um, you know, just 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 for for the film as a whole, not to be you know a Brent Corrigan movie, but just uh, a movie with Sean in it, and um, you know, I, I say this to people, I I, I don't know Brent Corrigan, I know Sean. Um, and the story of Sean is what made me want to use him. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's kind of how I, I feel about that. Um, is that, uh, you know, there was a lot of fucking kicking and screaming that, oh my God, you're like committing career suicide and whatnot. And yeah, you know, it has, it has hurt, but, um, in certain ways, uh, you know, using Sean, but I, I stuck with my convictions, I stuck with my choice, and um, I'm glad that I did, because it wouldn't be the movie that, that it is if, if, you know, I don't think I'd be where I am today if it wasn't for the choices that I made in that movie and exactly the way that the whole thing kind of played out. Um, so, yeah. yeah. I didn't think I'd be talking about Sean tonight. Who else has some questions? I can't believe I'm rambling. It's been 45 minutes. Um, Brooke, you're probably at home eating pancakes or now sleeping. Are you still here, Brooke? Let's see. All right, so we have Atlanta. We have Grand Rapids. We have New Jersey. We have India, and we have Germany. Who else is here? Or is that everybody? I think I might have gotten everybody. Did I? I don't know. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's, uh, like I said, this is, oh, he's a good actor. As, okay. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, yeah, he is. He is a good actor, and I knew that he would 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 definitely be able to to pull this off. Um, you know, I saw him in one of the things I did, and how I actually got to Sean was um, through a, a mutual friend uh, who did uh, Judas Kiss, the movie that he was in, and I saw that film, and I said, you know what? Yeah, he he he's got a certain vulnerability about him, and he's got a, a great. Uh, I found him to be very charismatic and um, I wanted to give him an opportunity to to have a not just a small part in a film but to really carry a movie and um, you know I think he really did a good job with with carrying the entire film you are listening and enjoying thank you Brooke I love you has anyone told you that I love you Brooke well I do Hi, Brooke. <laughs> Chris says hi. Thank you for sharing once again, and I totally get it. When you talk about mental illness and personal issues, the best part is let not those things affect us, but make us strong. I do agree. Um, 
you know, a lot of people don't talk about that stuff. And um, I think more people are affected by it than, than actually care to admit. Um, ever since I decided to get into um, this business and be somewhat in, in the public eye, I mean, I'm not, you know, whatever, but, you know, there are people, obviously there's somebody from India joining us tonight. Um, so yeah, I'm out there and, and you, you are under, under the public eye and people do write shit about you and whatnot. Um, and I've always made sure that I, I kept myself, um, as an open book. Um, and, uh, yeah. And especially through the, through these movies, Dr. Zeus that you're talking about, um, that, you know, I'm as open as and as honest as I can be because I, I think you the film is such a, a powerful uh, medium and um, you you can really say a lot you are whatever what does that mean I'm not sure what you mean um, but yeah the film is a really powerful medium and and you can really touch a lot of people um, and a small amount of time and and that's why I do what I do is to really try and make a difference um, and it also helps me um, awesome just awesome thank you very much thank you very much I really do appreciate that how how do you pronounce that name is it sky guard oh dark lighter ah okay um, yeah, it's my my screen is is actually jumpy and blurry right now, so sorry I can't really read that. What what's your what's your first name? Scar. Okay, cool, excellent, excellent. Um, I really do appreciate the the questions. Um, so yeah, um, so we're we'll wrap this up, and it's supposed to wrap up in a little bit, so we will um, kind of. Oh, thank you. I feel all these things are going off. We'll wrap this up in a few minutes. If if anybody, wow, here we go. All right. Thanks, Chris. <clears throat> um. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's let's uh, take just one or two more questions, then we can kind of call it quits, and I can put the air conditioner on, so you guys, so I can cool off, and you guys can get to doing what you want to do. Um, Chris, I'm not answering you. Uh, thank you very Rock Flight Films. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Um, these messages are coming from all over the place. This is pretty cool. Do you have any idea when your new project will begin? Well, I know that I'm actually in the process of writing it, and, um, you know, I'd love to be able to do it in the spring probably in the winter um, because it's got to be snowing and it takes place in a um, like in in like a upstate New York kind of area so uh, and there needs to be snow so it's got to be in the winter um, so that's when I want to start it I got it I gotta actually take the time now to, to finish it and I'd love to finish it by my birthday um, and I actually have, like I did with Truth, I actually have a few people in mind that I would like to uh, have be in it. I, I, I have this thing now for um, uh, British actors. Um, there's a few actors that I really um, am into that I would love to, to work with. And um, I love the accents. And I, I, I uh, yeah, I would love to to definitely um, definitely work with with uh, some some pretty cool British actors that are out there I got that idea from watching Lucifer on on, uh, on channel 5 here in, in where I'm at um, the TV show Lucifer that stars um, uh, Tom Ellis Tom Ellis is I think an amazing actor he's he makes the devil um, I don't know if anybody's seen that but he makes the devil really charming and um, you know, he, he kind of gave me that thing of maybe I should go in that direction. So, uh, we have some other questions. I love you too, Rob. Truly in awe of you. Such an accomplishment to write, produce, and direct in two such per personal and powerful movies. 
what was the best part of making truth? Um, the best part of making truth was um, actually, yeah, it was a really tough shoot. So I think making it was really tough and emotional. But the best part about it was actually when I was in, uh, it got accepted to um, a, a film festival in Philadelphia. And I, um, and I saw it on the big screen. And it looked, and I, uh, I just said to myself, oh my god, this looks like a real movie. And I'm like, that's a stupid thing to say, it is a real movie. But, you know, that was the most uh, rewarding thing, was actually seeing it up on the big screen. Um, so I'd say that that's the best part. Are you going to subject yourself to doing another one of these again? Uh, if you're talking about a movie, I'm sure I will. Absolutely. Um, sorry, I'm going off topic here, but what quality in a woman attracts you? P.S. I'm a woman. Hi, Dr. Seuss. Okay. Um, what attracts me to, uh, a woman? Well, um, even though I'm gay, um, it really is just about the person and, and who you are and, and uh, you know, um, honesty, you know, if you're real, you know, that's what it's all about. It's, it's just being real, open, honest, and um, being a good communicator. That's, that's something that is really important to me. Um, thank you for doing this. I hope to see you do these, more of these chats. Yes, I will. Uh, Theo James. Theo James. I'm going to look at Abraham Lincoln. There you go. Oh, Andrew Lincoln. Uh, Abraham Lincoln. I, I have the, the elections on my mind. I don't know why. Um, so, yeah, so I guess I guess that's it, guys. Um, any last questions, quickly type them out, um, and, I'll, and I'll answer them before we go. But I do want to take this time to, um, since it's the first time I'm actually doing this, um, I was scared shitless at the beginning. Um, and getting prepped for this and, and getting ready to go, but um, I'm really glad that uh, no, I meant one of those conversations. You lost me. You inspired me to write again. Thank you. Oh, cool. Very cool. Love British actors and their sense of humor. They are very funny. Get a chance, if you can, to stream online. I think you can find it on Hulu. Is Look at that um, TV show. It's an American show called um, Lucifer. The guy who plays uh, Lucifer is amazing. Um, his name is Tom Ellis. Or just just do, put him in YouTube and and just listen to his voice. He's got a great sense of, of timing. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's something that I think would add to to another dynamic to the movie. Duh, he says. Okay, thank you, Christopher. Um, so. Just, just to kind of throw out there, and, and I know there's a, there's a handful of you left now. Um, throw out there, um, people that I'm thinking of are Lee Williams. Um, Lucifer is great. He is awesome. Yes, he is awesome. And I'm so glad that they're bringing back uh, season two. Um, yeah, I, I mean, the show is amazing. And uh, so, yes, I'm thinking about Lee. Uh, Williams, and also Rupert Evans. Um, I saw him recently in a film called um, The Canal, which was an awesome, awesome, awesome movie. And uh, it's it's of the horror genre, and he was just incredible. Um, and he's somebody else that I, that I have in mind, too, that I would really love to work with. You're doing great. I will be in touch with you. Go get cool. You did awesome. Thanks for everything. Cool. Thank you, Tad. Um, all right, so I guess we've come to the end, guys. I want to thank you guys all so much for um, your great questions and, and giving me a lot of inspiration. Um, Scar, you you actually are inspiring me to to actually write, and I might do some writing tonight, actually. Um, so right back at you, man. Thank you. And um, so, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Um, thank you so much. And I, I will actually do some more of these because it's great to... Um, I'm going to start here watching Lucifer. Uh, I've seen his work before, Tom Ellis. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, fantastic job. Thanks for sharing your life. Thank you so much. And um, you guys inspire me, as, as always. And, uh, 
you know, you guys actually help me out uh, more than you think you do. So um, I thank you guys, each and every one of you guys, and I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out to to watch this. Have you seen his work, Rush, Tom Ellis? No, I haven't, but thank you for that. And I will actually check that out. Um, but I appreciate that, and I will. Um, so, uh, that's it. You can see I'm sweating my butt off here. It's probably now almost 100 degrees in this room, and uh, it's very humid, so I can tell I'm getting shiny. So it's time for me to uh, say goodnight. Um, again, thank you so much. Good night, Brooke. I love you. Um, and uh, thank you guys so much. It's cool to, to have all different parts of the world uh, actually sitting here with me tonight. Um, it just gives me a lot of hope, and um, thank you. So with that, I am going to sign off. Um, you guys have been great, and uh, yeah, I will post. This will be actually on on YouTube, so you guys can actually check it out. Um, I missed you tonight. Thank you, um, and thank you, Chris. Um, thank you, guys, everybody, and uh, until next time. Yes, Scar. Uh, have a great night, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.